Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. It's been a while since Logitech released a new sound system, but that just recently changed with the introduction of their brand new model, the Z533. This one falls into their more premium product segment, especially if we talk about 2.1 audio systems for PCs. You can see right from the picture on the front of the box that this model looks a bit more elegant with some golden highlights on the satellites. On the bottom part you can see with what power we are dealing here and that's a total of 60 watts RMS or 120 watts in peak. Back of the box reveals a detailed overview of features for the Z533, of course some unavoidable marketing jibber jabber along with it, as well as a notion of what this model offers in terms of audio inputs and connections. Opening up the box you can see that everything is packed really tightly without a proper protection padding and that's not a desirable observation for a heavy product like this one. We are telling you this as we witness our box coming in damage from the courier in one of the corners but fortunately everything was fine with the product. Moving on here we have the wired controller. In this separated box we have some user manuals alongside of the right and left speakers. Three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter male cable, and finally the subwoofer itself. The overall construction design of the new Z533 is pretty usual in this 2.1 audio system segment, but beside that fact Logitech definitely went in a completely new direction in terms of aesthetics and in comparison to previous models. Here we are witnessing a very simple and straightforward design with some subtle details which makes it different from others. Satellites have an open style driver design wrapped around in this acoustic shell which is slightly tilted on its back so the sound is aimed toward the user. Bottom part is covered in glossy coating as well as the outer ring of the drivers. Although it looks good this is something that I personally don't like since it's a natural dust, hair and fingerprint magnet. The subwoofer's front is covered in this big cloth like mesh, while the rest of it is also covered in black color with some glossy coating on the base reflex port. On the back of it you'll find your usual set of connections, pretty much all of them being RCA jacks for external inputs and satellite outputs, and alongside of them an external 3.5mm input which we used in our case. For controlling the sound the Z533 comes in with a stylish integrated remote on which you'll find a big volume knob, bass volume slider and jacks for aux in and headphones output. Taking the speakers for a spin, right off the bat I can say that they are much louder than my Logitech Z3 system, which I have for many years now, but that's expected since the Z533 is rated at higher power. On the other hand, the Z3 has a bit warmer sound compared to it, while the Z533 has cleaner highs, but then again it's hard to judge it based on that since it only had one or two working hours. All in all I was pretty pleased with what I've heard from the Z533 model, but I wish they had a bit lower price. If you come across on a good deal or a big discount you should definitely take them into consider. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Logitech Z533 audio system. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.